Morning, April 26th. And yesterday was a fucking productive day, guys. Got a whole lot of shit done. Like a whole, whole, whole lot of shit. So I'm super proud of myself. Today I'm also trying to have a seriously productive day too. Got a lot of uh, serious, like, like really, really serious business shit uh, in regards to LOA done last night. So super happy about that. And uh, today I have a few little tasks that I gotta do. And um, definitely wanna get on top of ordering some LOA stringers today. So that's something I'll be doing today. Predicting, or um, you know, doing a little bit of uh, guesswork to guess how much I should be ordering. And then hopefully uh, get that in and have it up as soon as possible. Um, we are going to the UK pretty soon, so I want to get these LOA stringers out and in your guys' hands on your bodies as soon as possible. So that's that. Uh, the beanies are doing really, really good. Uh, we're about halfway out right now. I only ordered uh, 60 or something like that. So, yes, very excited for that. And I'm also trying to price comparison different. Um, options in regards to getting LOA gear to the UK or perhaps having it made in the UK. So there's a couple different options whether I make it here and transport it or have it made there and then I don't really know how you know the quality is and um, I really like the quality of our shit. So head to the gym. It is a squat day today and I feel really really good. I had the massage yesterday. Unfortunately it wasn't as therapeutic as I'd like since I like my massages very tough rough and uh, you know deep sports massage type massages and I didn't really receive that because uh, the woman only weighed a good 110 100, maybe 115 pounds so okay let's kill it today guys gonna have a good one I think it's my strength week maybe I feel like it's my strength week so I'm very, I'm very fucking excited. Very excited. Let's do it. All right, guys. At the gym, Andrew over here, Brandon over there, me. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. How you doing? How are you? Pretty good. Form check 225. <laughs> Chill and watch my buddy hack squat. Yeah. In and out. Alright, form check 315. Here I'm beginning my last warm up for my squats. Just 315 for one, two, or three reps, something like that. Um, I'm getting to the point where my, my squats are starting to feel different. It's like my body has less fat <laughs> around my joints obviously I have less fat but it's like there's just less ugh, less cushion for the pushing and it's kind of just raw it just feels raw now um, getting to the point where I'm getting lean and things like the squat and the bench they're getting fucking tough tough as fuck guys so here's my set of eight right here going for eight going for eight ish with 365 pounds um a few months ago, this would have been around 385 pounds. So as you can see, you know, it's taken a little bit of a drop. Um, and of course, the funny thing is my deadlift hasn't really gone down. In fact, it's the strongest it's been um, ever when it comes to the sumo deadlift. And uh, people wonder why that is. I wonder why that is, honestly. Well, my squat's going down, but my, my deadlift's going up. And... Um, I guess it does make sense that the squat is, it's sort of a lift where that cushion can really help. You know, a little bit of body fat can definitely help. Um, switching over to the topic of uh, gym equipment, probably one of the most important things to have before you buy anything. Before you buy a belt, um, special shoes, um, headgear, <laughs> etc. would be making sure that you have just a solid pair of flat shoes. 
something that's very comfortable working out in, walking around and at the gym. Um, so that's that, that's not going to give on you. Something that's not going to roll your ankle. Um, I've seen people work out in dress shoes. <laughs> I've seen people work out in the most um, in the most cushioned of of uh, running shoes, and it looks like at any moment they might just snap on their deadlift or their squat. So first things first, make sure you have a flat pair of shoes. It could be you could work out barefoot. I recommend that over working out in a pair of fluffy ass running shoes. Um, so this goes out to everybody out there who wants to know, okay, should I buy a belt right now or knee sleeves right now? Make sure you have shoes first, like a pair of Chuck Taylors, just Converse's, or uh, maybe even work out barefoot when it comes to your deadlifting or squatting, especially those two movements. Um, and then you may look towards something like chalk. And you might have been expecting me to say a belt, but chalk can help so freaking much, whether it's chalk the powder or liquid chalk. Uh, you have a good grip around the bar, <laughs> and you're just stronger and stronger and stronger. You'll push better, you'll squat better, everything better if you have a nice grip around the bars when you're lifting weights. So once you have your shoes, your chalk, then you may look towards something like a belt or knee sleeve. Um, and I would probably recommend, it, it's a little bit tough to be honest, I'm 50-50, you can choose. Some like knee sleeves will really help um, making sure that you're focusing on good form. Also keeping your knees warm, healthy, lubricated. That's the main thing. They're not really providing actual support to make you lift more weight. They're just providing support so that your your uh, your squat is a nice, healthy squat. Your knees are nice and healthy, and you're looking towards longevity. And the belt. Why do I use a belt? Does it take away from the movement, etc.? Well, sure, it may allow you to do more weight. Um, and this is a conversation I had recently. A belt may allow you to do more weight, and the, the argument is, wouldn't that take away from your ab development or from your ab work on a movement, your core work? Uh, sure, it may, but by using more weight, the, the ab work, the core work is just is even great, or is, is taken up a notch. Um, so as you're lifting more weight with the belt, your abs are going to be getting hit, your core will be getting hit more. So... You'll be able to handle higher loads, get more progressive overload in your legs, and even in your abs you by utilizing the Valsalva technique. Breathing into your stomach with a belt, and that's the whole point of having a belt. It's actually breathing into your stomach so that you can push against it. And uh, it's a technique that a lot of people need to practice, and maybe I'll make a video on it just by itself. I think I've done it in the past, but I'll do it again, okay? So once you've got your chalk, you have a flat pair of shoes like these, and maybe you've got a belt or your knee sleeves. Um, then you can get the little things. Things like uh, bands. My gray bands that I have. Elite FTS bands that I use to open my hips. Those are nice. Or maybe uh, my orange bands that I also use. Or maybe that one orange band that I use for my shoulder mobility drills. Um, that is very, very, very useful in terms of products. So hopefully I'm helping you out by letting you guys know <laughs> the stuff that I use. And uh, the order that I think is helpful in getting equipment, if at all. And you notice I haven't even said straps yet. Now, maybe go ahead and you can throw, throw on straps for pulling movements and that sort of thing. But for the most part, you should be focusing on not using straps. So then once you have, say, chalk, belt, knee sleeves, flat shoes, um, then you may look towards something like a pair of squat shoes. After you've been squatting for a good amount of time, barefooted or flat-footed as well so a after you have all those things the bands everything that we talked about then maybe you could look towards something like a pair of squat shoes uh, for even better squatting action for more quad action or for perhaps better form so you can go a little bit deeper if that's what you want but it's absolutely not necessary none of these things are necessary that's the thing a lot of people think that their path towards success requires some of these things, requires either supplements or the best pair of shoes ever, and honestly it doesn't. The main factors for growing for a natural are going to be time, consistency, utilizing progressive overload, and hitting macros, whether it's caloric surplus or deficit. So those are the main things. Moving now to a different subject, calves. This is how I like to hit calves, and to be honest, my calves grew the most ever this year than any other year and yes they're not super impressive but um, I think it's because the way I've been hitting them 
much, 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 much heavier, actually focusing on the weight, progressive overload, but also the way I hit them tempo-wise. A nice pause at the top, a slow negative, a longer pause at the bottom, and a rapid uh, positive motion. So that's how I like to hit my calves, and I honestly feel like they've grown more than ever. And he doesn't fit in there. Just fucking kill that workout, right? Yeah. Right? There's only like three, three Damn hours. It. Hell yeah. Three it's hours only a three hour intervals. workout. I gotta do my intervals tonight. Can't wait. Okay. <sighs> Bye, guys. Y'all have fun at Chipotle. Yeah, make sure. Yeah, dude. Got the Chipotle. Plan on making a cool little video. We got a chick here eating Chipotle in her car, all by herself. Why people do that, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going home. I'm going to watch an episode of Hannibal Lecter. Well, Hannibal, that new show. Um, I'm going to watch that <coughs> while eating my Chipotle. And I have a little skit I'm planning today, guys. So I'm actually really excited about this. Uh, I have a, I have the setting, I have it all set up, I have the theme, the concept. I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm thinking about scripting it and writing a script. We'll see, we'll see. So, you guys have seen it already by now. <laughs> by the time this comes out, since this is probably gonna be like a few days late. So, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks. Done watching the kitchen scene, or done filming the kitchen scene for a skit I made today. So I'll have parts one through four to do. Watching Hannibal right now. Got my Chipotle burrito. Here's the Chipotle burrito from the Half Natty video. I had a productive day today. It's about 11 p.m. and it's about time that I go to the gym, head off and do uh, interval cardio plus some tanning. Let's take a look at what I'm looking like right now in the mirror in terms of lean. Uh, the lighting is different from my sight and uh, the camera, but I um, just want to show you guys current forearm look just so you get a good feel. Since my Monday videos, they don't always show some of the detail. They show the overall shape, but um, I'll show you guys some of the uh, how it is. Different lighting just gives different looks. So this is currently what things look like. Okay. Um, I think tomorrow marks six weeks out for the first competition, and it also works. It marks eleven weeks out for the other competition. So, I guess I'm on schedule, I believe, and um, I think in about eleven weeks I'll be uh, nice and lean. But just know that you know it's not magic, and um, it's a day to day, week to week, month to month process of me getting leaner, and. Um, you know, hopefully with me showing you guys this day-to-day -day process, no one gets any ideas thinking magically one day I just got ripped um, or got huge or anything. I've been tracking my progress for quite a while through pictures for, throughout my whole life and videos for the last few years. So you guys can go through the pictures, go through the videos. My bogus to ogus video, for example, a lot of this stuff uh, will provide you guys with evidence. Um of how slow and steady my progress has been year after month after month year after year year on top of year so yeah that's that goes without me even saying that um natural bodybuilder i'm not on any banned substances or anything like that so uh hopefully like i said my footage pictures all that stuff i mean look at me i'm a skinny bitch let me take the shit off <laughs> and show you guys. I'm not a big dude. I'm really not. Um, and anyone who thinks I am, cool. Thanks for the compliment. And a lot of people honestly think I'm really skinny and really small. And uh, it is what it is. But hey, I'm in this for the long run. <clears throat> Hopefully when I'm 30, 40 years old, I'm a respectable bodybuilder. And... Uh, that's a long-term hobby goal of mine. Hey, I'm starting to notice that I'm getting a lot of veins in here now. I think uh, since we started doing intervals every leg day, we've been doing that for a week or two. Um, it's definitely been stepping shit up. Like, you know, this morning I was 166.9 pounds. That shit was crazy. Um, but uh, 
I'm getting lean. I'm getting lean, guys. And um, believe me, this ain't easy. I mean, I guess it's it's pretty easy for me right now. Um, but I mean, there everything has its costs. Everything. And uh, doing this naturally, a lot of the cost takes place up here. And right here. Okay, I'll tell you right now. A lot of the cost goes up here and down there. And a lot of people think that uh, I'm on something, and they don't believe my they don't believe me when I'm not when I'm saying I'm not on anything. Therefore, they assume that that this isn't a struggle, that this isn't tough. Now, if you do believe me when I say I'm not on anything that's that's powerfully helping me transform myself to get super unhealthily lean, um, that's that. But if you believe me. Um, just know that this is not an easy process. It's not one without costs. Like I said, my mind, every day I get a little bit crazier. Every day I get a little bit crazier. In 2011, my girlfriend and I broke up because of how crazy I got. It was pretty much my decision to break up. I was crazy. <laughs> and uh, this year I'm hoping to not be as crazy. Okay? And not just that, but the deeper, especially naturally, the deeper you get into prep, the lower and lower your testosterone just drops. It just drops and drops and drops. That isn't an issue so much for guys who are supplementing with testosterone or testosterone boosters or androgenics and all these other drugs. So it's much harder for a natural to uh, keep muscle mass, to keep metabolism high, to not go crazy, uh, to still get a boner, to have any sex drive, it's much harder for a natural to do this. This isn't me saying that my journey is extremely tough. I'm just putting things into perspective, guys, because a lot of the people that you see in magazines and on TV uh, and at shows and stuff are not doing the things that I'm, or, well, they're doing more than the things that I'm doing. And um, I'm not saying you owe me credit, or any of that. Just want you guys to get a perspective of this, um, of my process, my process. The fact that I am not taking any substances that magically burn fat off my body. There are substances that fucking do this, okay? Like I said, there's a cost to everything, okay? And there's a lot of substances out there you can take that will just like, you could eat practically shit. You could, I mean, you could not count macros, not do any of that, just eat shills of protein and carbs and, and fats and whatnot, and you will still be losing weight. Um, like, that's, that's why a lot of these guys aren't even uh, doing, you know, uh, tracking macros or whatever. They're just eating off a meal plan. They think the meal plan is doing it, and really it's a slightly a combination of the meal plan. Mostly a lot of these drugs they're taking. So like I said, I just want to put things into perspective. This isn't really a rant. Um, kind of just wanted to reassure everyone that um, what I'm doing here is completely unaided uh, by powerful substances that um, people may think that I'm taking. And, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, off to the gym now, guys. What do you think? Am I natty? Am I unnatty? Or am I half natty? You tell me. <laughs> so, look at my bogus bogus video. It shows how fucking bait I've been. And uh, how slowly I grew. So, Okay, let's go to the gym. Nice long drive, 24 miles there and back. But we gotta do it. Let's go. So you guys wanted a video on high intensity interval training cardio so i'll be making that next video guys hope you enjoyed this map versus look forward to the hiit video coming up next peace out guys have a good day home from the gym my legs are really <laughs> they're getting sore right now um tomorrow i'll probably be pretty damn sore i am just ready for bed ready to get to bed pop some zma Wash my face and close my damn eyes and go to bed. Good night, world.